Hello Ambassadors, this is David Vi with the Preface Portal Overview and Tutoring Session Preparation. So the first thing that you'll notice is off to the left you don't have your training module anymore. So after you complete your training all of your tabs to the left will go away and once you're paired with students and uh, we're ready to start our regularly scheduled tutoring sessions you'll get these new tabs for the schools that you'll be tutoring, the students in those schools, which books you've read, and then a list of all of your sessions. So this is our example of your sessions. So it has the day of the week, which date you'll be tutoring, from what time, the elementary school teacher, that's a secondary point of contact, and which students that you'll be tutoring, and what grade they're in. So as you can see, down here for that Thursday, 28th of September. For this example, you had a conflict. So the elementary school teacher knows that you uh, won't be able to make it, maybe for a school holiday. Uh, so that Google Meet link goes away. For this, you know, Monday, October 2nd, you, you already had that session and you logged uh, how that session went. So now, for this example, we'll be using our October 3rd session and our Google Meet link is ready we have not had the session so we haven't logged it and we have no conflict now one thing that I've done to prepare for the tutoring sessions is I've gone ahead and logged into our digital library epic which you will be getting the username and password for once you're paired with your students and I've also signed in to the ambassador account uh, that is under Gmail that you need to use to be able to open up the Google Meet sessions. So for this example it's time for us to open up our sessions. When I clicked on the link it went ahead and signed me in as the ambassador account. We're going to go ahead and join. And because we were able to enter the session automatically uh, you as the ambassador will be controlling who is allowed in for the session so it's important that you log in a little bit early to make sure that your students can come into the reading session. We're now complete with our session so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our books tab. Here are some of our placeholder books. We're going to click on add new to add a new book. For this example we read the book Manx Cats copy the title over. This book was by Meredith Dash, so we'll copy her name over. And this was a grade level J book. So we'll come and select it. And we'll leave it as an active book, so anybody else can select it. We'll hit Submit. So now our book Manx Cax is added to our book listing come back over to our sessions. You know, For that October 3rd, we're going to log our session. So all we do is just click that no. From books, we'll come down this list and select Manx Cats. And you can select more than one book if you read more than one book. And as this list continues to get bigger, you can just type in the name of the book. It'll come up and you can just select it that way. We had some very excited students for our example session and very engaged students for our example session. You'll change these if as you continue to know your students, you know, maybe they have a bad day, not everybody's perfect, you know what I'm saying? So we're just going to make sure that we select how we felt their attitude, how felt how their engagement was, uh, so that if there are anything that we may need to report back to their teacher, we can. And that's where this button here comes in. Are there any issues with the students? You know, that's something for, you know, a serious issue if one of the students confides something in you that you feel like is necessary for us as the preface staff or the elementary school staff that may need to know. Uh, that's just something that you can select. Write a little bit of a blurb. A uh, text box will appear down here. Uh, so, you know, don't use this for something like oh yeah you know their shoe was untied and they're upset about it this is for something that you know you feel like 
some adults need to know and get involved in. For our student comprehension level here, we've also included our comprehension chart. So for grades kindergarten through second, here are the uh, determinations for comprehension level. And for grades three through six, you'll be using this right column. Uh, we do have the options for 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, so don't feel like you have to pick 3 if you felt like the student was more in the middle leaning towards a 5. So we'll say we had some pretty good comprehension today with that 4. You'll hit submit. And now you've logged your session. And that's all that you have to do. It's not that bad. It just takes a couple of minutes before your session time, a couple of minutes after your session time. And this helps track how the students are doing, helps make sure that we're all on the same page with our program. So thank you very much. And if you have any questions, there will also be an informational document for you to download at the end of your trainings. And as always, if you ever need anything, feel free to reach out to us uh, as needed. All of our emails will be coming through uh, to you directly. Uh, as well as the liaison accounts. Thank you.